are getting tired. New Year, fade away. Can you be a thought? A thought who licks to me. But I was born, I want to free. I was born to cross both land and sea. New Year, fade away. Can you be a thought? I heard you next to me. I thought I felt you next to me. So there's a bunch of kick in my monitor that I don't want and might be creating problems. That could be a bit, sorry about the, the funny big noise when you're trying to mic a suitcase. It can get a little complicated. I'm Matt Lorenz, we are the Suitcase Junket. It's really nice to be here with you. You're getting that, Brian?
Thank you. That's our problem, child. This is the point in the show where I normally introduce the band and I'm like, get it? It's me, hi. But I had to stop introducing the band for a while because everyone was getting egos. There was a lot of mandatory band meetings during COVID. We actually broke up for a while. This is something of a reunion tour. Down on the suitcase bass drum, you've got Ronnie. <laughs> They've all got names now, and I have to mention each of them on stage and all their side projects. It's, it was complicated negotiations. You got Tony on the right toe there, keeping the hi-hat going. Every boom needs a chick, as they say. I don't know who says that. I say it a lot. I still don't know what it means. Um, on the right toe, also, we've got this box of bones and chains. It's quiet. It's seldom used, but it is the source of all my power. So I you know that. On the baby shoe, I used to, in the bad old days, I did a lot of busking in the streets. And this thing in New Orleans was the money maker because people would walk by and they'd, they'd be like, ah, oh, music, I'm in New Orleans, I'm drinking in the streets, what good culture. And then they'd see this box of bones and, and they're like, is that a chicken bone? <laughs> I better give money to that one. <laughs> I don't want to catch a hex here. On the left toe, there's a baby shoe hitting a gas can. We used that for the sound of innocence, obviously. I wore that baby shoe and so did my sister and probably my mom, it, it's pretty old. Uh, and I think that makes it less creepy. <laughs> we all wore it. So, but a weird thing was happening for a while where people would come and give me baby shoes as gifts after shows. Which, you know, gifts are nice, but at a certain point, you're a guy with a van full of baby shoes. And your only defense is, I'm in a band. <laughs> Doesn't really pan out. Um, left heel is a cook pot. Not too many mysteries there, just spaghetti and such. Also left heel circular saw blade helping us to mark the ends of rounds, which I guess we're at. Uh, when I tour in Ireland, they call that the spittoon, which I rather like. I don't know. I've only ever seen it in cartoons. I don't know what they were spitting back then. Probably teeth, but with <laughs> dental hygiene and fist fights as they were in the Wild West. This, uh, this next song I sent out onto the internet like you do these days. You have to do it with all your songs. They have their own lives out there. And this one collected more numbers than I've ever had attached to my name, even in debt. Um, millions of people listened to it, which made me a thousandaire. <laughs> Go streaming. <laughs> I got merch back there. That's not a joke. <laughs> Sit right down and watch the weather wind. Open all your windows, let the rains fall in. Sit right down and watch the weather wind. Well, the wind will rock the pictures off the wall, paper peeling from the plaster that is crumbling to the floor. Vines climb through the wind. Wrap around the legs of tables, wrap around your skinny ankles, throwing flowers round the door. Open all your windows, let the rains come in. Sit right down and watch the weather wind. Open all your windows, let the rains fall in. Sit right down and watch the weather wind. Drop by drop the floor will soften, sagging like a canvas coffin. Oh, the rain. Sap and sprout in an easy chair and lift the rafters in the air. Oh, the rain. Oh.
it's falling Sit right down and watch the weather win Thank you. I forgot to introduce the high whistling sound that happens sometimes. It's an overtone singing thing that I came across by accident, driving in the car, trying out new mouth shapes like you do. Right? What do you guys do in the car? Just sit there, listen to the news. Anyway, if you, if you say, I'm going to give you a, a quick lesson so that we can have a sing along by the end of the show. You're going to say uh, the letter R with the tip of your tongue curved up to the roof of your mouth. Rrr. Try that. Oh, you're naturals. This will be easy for you. And then you hum a note as though you're lifting something kind of heavy, like, uh, rrr. and then you do that in a car for five years. <laughs> That's my recipe. <laughs> and you think of rainbows. <laughs> it is sort of like the sonic equivalent of light through a prism. Uh, the note that you're humming would be the white light, your mouth is making the prism, the overtones would be the rainbow. I could nerd out on this for a while. If you want to, I will remind you again that I will be by the merchandise <laughs> for nerds. Anyway, this is what it sounds like without all the, the mess around it. This is your tongue. Well, this is my hand representing a, a tongue, to be clear. <laughs> your teeth are that way, your gull is back here. So take that to your cars and showers. I'll be back in five years. Thank you. <laughs> oh, stop it. I love it. It's, uh, the overtone thing, is it, it comes up uh, all across the world in different cultures. And, but the person I, I feel most connected to is a guy named Arthur Miles, who was a cowboy singer back in the 20s. And he sort of sang all high and lonesome and, and did the same overtone style. But they do it in parts of Mongolia, where it's a huge part of the culture, Tuva. They grew up there on the river, down on the riverside. Muskrat roast for Sunday dinner, everybody satisfied. Those two kids never could be parted, running around side by side. Young love, so open hearted, a river so deep and wide. the river raised by the running weather of water and time this flood came with a hammer of thunder out of a clear blue sky it took away one left the other down on the riverside but why so cruelly heartbreak and why why such twisted fate one gone back to their maker and one Everybody.
Thank you. Maybe, maybe Brian just op volume down, I think, but the, 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 seal, the uh, suitcase has like a ceiling <laughs> above which it just wants to be one standing wave. I put out a new album um, almost three years ago. Thank you. <laughs> it's still new. The last two or three years don't really count, <laughs> which means I don't really have two children. <laughs> <laughs> The name of that album is The End is New. It came out in November of 2020. I don't know if you remember that time. <laughs> there was a lot going on. Thank you.
Thank you. Yeah, just another human disaster. That one started off as like a self-portrait song, but then it wound up being about all of us. <laughs> you were there, and you were there. <laughs> oh, dear. I put it on T-shirts, and they sold out so fast. I think I really struck a nerve in this cultural time. <laughs>
Nothing ever feels like mine. Fields of green, glass of wine. Fear and grief and joy divine. It don't last, it just passes you by. Can you grab it all? Give it a try. Hold it close and hold it high. Keep it cool and keep it dry. Lightning like it strikes or goes. The trees may burn and the thunder roll. Light a heavy fast, don't slow. Everything has got to go. And here comes everybody. Thank you so much. I'm going to play a song my sister wrote. your name with mine on a busted yard sale sign I want your name with mine on a busted yard sale sign I want your name on my boat right above where the waves can reach I want your name on my boat I want to love that kind of Yard 
save sign. I want your name on my phone. Right above where the waves can reach. I want your name. Kate Lorenz, everybody. Huh? Won't stop her trying, she's got piles of good reasons. This heartbreak and let the loss do one every season. Does the edge or so she says, plus it's so damn pleasing. So she follows every longing into luxury and laughter. But it leads her into loneliness, lost reeling in the rafters. No one would believe the photos of before and after. Least of all her self-pride's denials a bitter master. Yeah, once she's good and loaded, she can ease away in the old days. Memories of good times, unrestricted, wild, weird ways, and how the golden light will linger long after it should. Hanging on to her Adonis, shining in a fresh day. All them shadows trapped in real time Snap her back into her glass Her gaze aglow with light lines And everyone around her For a moment had a real smile Glory graces every face And sparks the inner child With a day and a lie around her
Thank you so much. It's, I, I still love playing music. <laughs> I'd be doing it anyway, but it's so much nicer when you're here <laughs> with me. Well, like I said, I had, I had a couple kids <laughs> the past, these past couple years, and I only have one song that I've ever written. It never made it on a record that felt almost like a kid's song, and I've been playing it lately. I'm going to play it for you. It's about a platypus. Because wh what else would you write about <laughs> for your kids? I never met you because you live in Australia. But I got some pictures of you in a book. Ornithorynchus. That's just Latin for a platypus. Hey, your feet are webbed and your face is just ducky. You got poisonous barbs in between your legs. But if we were friends, you know, I'd sure be lucky. I would be flattered, my little platypus. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm, my little platypus. Platypuses. They're great. <laughs> I think I got time for, uh, I'll play one more song and then I'll pretend it's over and do another. We'll just sort of embrace that charade. <laughs> I sometimes, I think it'll work here. I sometimes like to step out front and just play one acoustically into the room for you so you can hear how crappy this guitar really is. Also, because no one yells ballad anymore. That went out with mutton and mead I'll have a ballad that's what they used to say and if you didn't play one they would just kill you <laughs> and drop the in the oubliette <laughs>
Should we play one more song? I have, a, I have a request. Will you sing with me on this one? It feels good to sing in this room. I have a four-person minimum, so think about it. Will you sing with me? It's a good shouty one. You know, don't worry. be worried about your singing voice. It's just as long as you're loud, you're good. <laughs> the, the part you're going to sing, we're going to yell, uh, sing the word home like it's the last night of our lives, but in a good way. It'll be like this. Home. Try it with me. Let's do it again. One more time with feeling. Okay, not bad for your size. I'm going to give you three cues to your singing part. I'll say the words, wherever I wake up, I call my home. That's your cue, your first cue. Second cue, I'll give you bulgy eyes like this. <laughs> so if you feel, at least I think I will. <laughs> if you feel a little weird, it's time to sing, which is also a decent motto if you're in need of one. <laughs> Works most places, not public transit. The third cue, <laughs> it makes things weirder. The third cue is I will point at you. It's the most blatant of the three cues. When I'm pointing at you, we're all singing. If you're not singing, you either missed it or you're resisting, and neither of those is okay right now. Okay right now? <laughs> here we go. Thank you again for being here. My name is Matt Lorenz. This is the Suitcase Junket. I don't know. Keep in touch. I like you so far. <laughs> don't mess it up on this last song, okay? <laughs> well, I hope this is real. Cause if I've been dreaming, then when I wake from my rest, all my friends will be ghosts, all my loves will be shadows of my own mind exploring itself. That just seems so sad, deceitful and wanting that this whole life I've just been alone. Oh, but I can't complain For I've seen some beauty And wherever I will wake up I'll call my home If I can't understand my own mind But even if it's all been a smoke screen or a pageant I still like the way that it's aligned And the truth don't mean much If it's been a good story All of the shame, all the glory, all the bones Maybe all that we are is all we remember for wherever I wake up, I call my home.
much. Thanks to everyone here at the Millennial Stage, the Kennedy Center. Cheers. See you next time. Thank you for joining us at the Millennium Stage. For more information about upcoming shows, please check out the Kennedy Center website or Facebook page. At this time, we ask you to please head to the back of the seating area so we can safely put away our chairs. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your evening at the Kennedy Center.